Devereaux is a uh, rather unique dive site, and unfortunately, at least up to this point, um, we haven't been able to get enough interest to try to move a boundary or to make uh, some form of an exemption to allow that diving to continue. My name is Chip Bissell. I'm uh, born and raised in Southern California. Uh, I've lived up and down the coast from Santa Barbara down to San Diego and uh, been in the water diving, fishing, sailing pretty much all my life. Diving is uh, for me and free diving in particular being freed of scuba tanks and, and, uh, and regulators and, and, and the dive computers uh, is a way for me to completely get away from everything else that I see on a day-to-day -day basis above the water. Spearfishing is an activity that is it's far more than, than the simple act of, of, of hunting fish. It's an activity that is uh, it's spiritual, uh, it's meditative in many ways, uh, but Actually, the spearing of the fish is a very small part of, of spearfishing. We uh, did an analysis of spearfishing, and, and it, is, it can be a very selective fishery. So it's not, it's not like some fisheries where you may be going after one species, but you incidentally catch a number of other ones. And so the effect on the ecosystem can be much broader. Spearfishing can be very, very um, clean in that sense, in a sense that it can target individual fisheries. Currently, California is uh, implementing a series of marine protected areas. And in a place like California, particularly Southern California, we're talking about tens of millions of people uh, in the area that potentially could go out and enjoy recreational fishing. And so it, it creates a number of management challenges to really be able to effectively uh, control the number of fish that are caught. Marine protected areas are just areas in the ocean that are set aside with uh, special rules and they can be in some cases very few and in other cases they can be very restrictive and so in the most extreme uh, they're called marine reserves and those are protected areas where no one is allowed to take anything out. The scientific guidelines that recommend that for each habitat, and by habitats we're talking about kelp forest and deep water rocky reefs and sandy beaches and rocky shores. For each one of those, uh, we recommended including MPAs. Unfortunately, uh, Devereaux uh, and the UC Santa Barbara region has been uh, designated as a marine protected area with uh, no take allowed uh, in virtually all of the proposals on the table. To lose access like that, that's within bicycling range. You can bike down to the beach and go diving. You can, some of these guys will walk down to the beach and go diving. You know, they're not old enough to drive. Uh, there's not a lot of places in California you can do that. And it would really be a shame to see that, uh, that we would lose another one. I've, I've met with uh, parents there of divers and I've had them come up and say to me, you can't close Devereaux. Devereaux is where my kids go, and it keeps them out of trouble. It's what they're experiencing when they're there, when they're in the water, that is connecting them. It's establishing a sense of stewardship that they're not going to get anywhere else. This is the type of experience you can't buy in life. And if that's closed off, uh, you know, they, the, these parents are, are just uh, anguishing over this. And I, I can understand that. To allow Devereaux uh, to remain open uh, would seem a simple task. And I, I hope that, uh, that the uh, decision makers in this process will try to, uh, try to find a way to work with the community with the students, with the divers, and with the public to, to make that happen.